Welcome and thank you for tuning in to today's episode on how to install Mac OS X Leopard on a Firewire or USB hard drive. The equipment needed to install Mac OS X 10.5 Leopard on a Firewire or a USB hard drive is a computer running 10.411 with a PowerPC G4 or better with 867 megahertz and 512 minimum of RAM, a Mac OS X Leopard DVD, and a friend's laptop or desktop or a second laptop or desktop that you have with a workable DVD drive running PowerPC G4 or better. You also need a Firewire or USB external hard drive. If you're running a PowerPC, do not use a USB external hard drive because power PCs cannot recognize USB hard drives as bootable drives. They can only recognize FireWire drives. If you're using Intel, you can use FireWire or USB drives and use them as bootable drives. Power PCs will not recognize boot as bootable USB hard drives as bootable drives. Steps you need to take in preparing your hard drive for partitioning because that's what we're going to do before we actually install Leopard onto your hard drive. So step one is you want to select your hard drive you want to partition. For instance, I want to partition my main hard drive to have two partitions on it. If you don't know what partitioning is, you can look it up online. There's many different ways to partition. Um, step three, or step two I should say, is backup hard drive and all files within the hard drive to the safe location. Step three, create a DMG file of Leopard. If you don't know how to do that either, you can go look online. Maybe later I'll post a, uh, a video on how to do that. But for now, we're just going to show you how to install Leopard on a Firewire USB drive. Prepared, you, now we have to prepare the drive for Leopard. Step we will take to prepare. Step one, we'll click on secondary drive, or in your case, your main hard drive. And you want to go to applications folder. You want to open disk utility, or utility folder, and then select disk utilities. Then, you want to select the hard drive you want to partition. I want to partition my main hard drive. So I will select on my main hard drive. And you want to select erase. And you want to make sure you got your volume format is Mac OS X Extended Journal. You want to click erase. And then next step we want to do is we want to partition our drive. By going up to the partition tab, we can select the different partitions. You want to click the plus button to add a partition. And you want to select no less, a minimum of 15 gigabytes for Mac OS X to be restored to. And use the second one would be no minim, a minimum of 30 to 38 gigabytes for your operating system to be installed to. Then you can use a rest for Time Machine if you so choose. Next step we're going to do after we hit the plus button is we are going to choose the size of our hard drives right here in the size dialog box. And then we're going to hit apply and that will erase our hard drive also. If we are running 10.4 Tiger it will erase our hard drives. If we're running Anything later, which you wouldn't be if you were watching this video, but if you were, then you would not have to worry about that. This can also work if you are going to try to install lep uh, Snow Leopard on your computer. For those who have a um, MacBook Air. Okay, next step you want to do after you've apl hit apply is you want to go to your restore tab and you want to select that DMG file you created of Leopard and drag it into your source file. 
then you want to take your hard drive you want to install leopard 2 that 15 minimum gigabytes of hard drive space that you put on to your computer that you partitioned your drive to you want to drag that over from your sidebar wherever it may be and drag it into the destination folder and then hit um, restore you can also select the erased destination and what it'll do is it'll erase the destination throw your whole information right on there then you want to rest go to system preferences you want to open system preferences and you want to go to startup disk and you want to select your hard drive that you want to and that you've installed or partitioned to have leopard on and you want to select that drive and click restart your system will restart in a matter of few seconds and you can now install leopard onto your Mac OS X running 10.4 tiger some tips you might need to know before you do all this is you may want to make sure you have your 10.4 tiger discs handy for the fact that some older power PCs do not except leopard right off the bat you have to be up to date in the, in the newest system you can as far up as you can before installing leopard you need to be I think at 10.411 in order to do it and the way you can do that is just getting a regular install disk and then going up to up here to the Apple and going down to software update and then you can select your updates and let it run and do it and it'll run you right up to 10.411 and then after that you can install your 10.5 leopard and then do the same thing after you get done installing that and you will it'll work beautifully I've done it it works enjoy if you have any questions look me up on YouTube leave a comment thank you and hope you enjoy